Today we've got an intriguing bar to talk about because it tries to do a few things other multi-grip bars don't or can't. This is the United Fit Camber Bar and it has some unique features you're not going to find elsewhere. With an adjustable camber, you can tweak the feel and balance of the bar. The tapered center section is useful for presses or carries. And let's not forget about the removable sleeves and other design elements that make this a creative take on a design that's often just copied. As a home gym enthusiast, I'm always interested when I can find a piece of equipment that can do a little more than something else. But none of these features matter if it doesn't perform. So let's talk about all the things this bar can do and how well it actually does them. Even though I've had this for a few weeks, we're gonna call this more of an unboxing and first impressions, but I'm not actually gonna unbox it again because I'm not joking when I say I actually ended up inside the box trying to get the sleeves out without getting styrofoam everywhere, which didn't work, but luckily I was smart enough to film the second attempt when I went back into the box to get the included carabiner and strap. Don't worry, yours won't be shipped like this was. This is the first prototype that was sent out. So while we talk about my thoughts on the bar, we'll also cover the differences they've proposed for the final version. So bear with me because they're fairly extensive and that's why I'm calling this an impressions video. It's great for you that they're listening to feedback and trying to make it the best possible bar, but as a content creator, it's really tested me. Multi-grip bars, whether they're flat or cambered, give you options for grip widths while putting your joints into a more natural and less stressful pressing position. So here, instead of here, it may look subtle and maybe I don't look like I've spent years in a gym, but I've been fortunate enough to avoid major injuries while lifting except for the one time I did CrossFit. So whether you're looking at a bar like this to help you protect your joints or develop low end pressing strength or one of the other various reasons you might want one of these, this attempts to deliver on everything and actually does a pretty good job overall. If you're interested in this bar after watching the review, I've put a link to it in the description, but it's not an affiliate link. I make nothing if you buy it and United Fit didn't sponsor this video. They just sent me it for free for the review. Credit for this video goes 100% to my Patreons who wanted to see a video on this after we posted our weekly update there that talks about various equipment we're thinking about covering. And since I'm a sleazy YouTuber and I can't make anything off this bar, here's a brief word from our sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by Magic Spoon, a no sugar, grain gluten, and soy free, keto friendly, naturally flavored cereal. But best of all, and the reason we decided to work with them, it's high in protein with 13 to 14 grams per serving. I'm actually kind of impressed I remembered all those points. What about you, Ben? I've developed a bit of a bad habit of snacking while editing my videos late at night. Since it's about to be beach season and when he wants to compete in a powerlifting meet, I really needed to be a little bit better about my eating habits so I could look good at my powerlifting onesie. So when Magic Spoon asked me about trying out their cereal, I figured it was worth a shot. They sent me their variety pack so that I could try four of the 12 flavors they have. So Winnie and I picked cocoa, fruity, frosted, and peanut butter, which is actually my and my son's favorite <laughs> flavor. All right, so he can't actually eat foods yet or talk, but I'm his dad, so I know it's his favorite. I'll be honest, I had pretty low expectations for a healthy cereal, but I ate all four boxes of it without sharing any with my wife and kids, except for that spoonful Ben just tried. And Magic Spoon is confident enough in their product that they'll give you a full refund if you don't like it. So click the link in the description or scan that QR code and use code Gluck for $5 off a variety pack. I enjoy it and I'm happy to have them as a sponsor. Now that we're back, let's talk about the camber and unique things this does. Interestingly, since the handles are in line with the sleeves, it kind of actually functions as a flat multi-grip bar as well as a cambered bar. More on the flat part in a minute, let's talk about the camber. At about three and a quarter inches deep, it's on the deeper side of what's out there, though it's a little less on these center handles. Personally, I think deep cambers are a bit overrated. My dad tore his pec a few times, as have a lot of people by really pushing the limits on their chest and shoulders. So while I like a little stretch, the camber's purpose to me is maybe more about balancing the weight, which is where the most interesting feature of this bar comes in. And that's the ability of the sleeves to not only come on and off, but rather that you can place them in three different positions, which looks kind of gimmicky at first, but I have to say it functions well, especially being a prototype. Let me explain. 
If you leave them in the center, you basically have a flat multi-grip bar, three sets of handles all on the same plane as the weights, though these are raised up a bit. But that means you can still use this for a lot of different exercises since the weight won't fight you like on a cambered bar. So curls, overhead extensions, or other arm exercises since that's all that really matters. Though I will say it's heavy at 54 pounds with the sleeves on, but the production unit is going to be closer to 50. All right, so what if you want the stability of a cambered bar? Well, drop the sleeve to the lowest position and you've got a camber bar, which is gonna be easier to press with since the weight is now sitting below your hands and the bar will try to balance itself and stay upright rather than you having to stabilize it. Now, I haven't actually found a ton of uses for the top slots, but some of that, as I mentioned before, is because the weight and the handles, at least in the center position with the sleeves, they're in line with each other and the bar is pretty well balanced so you're not fighting the camber on rows or other exercises like you would with Rogue's MG4C where the handles and weight aren't in line with each other. But rows are exactly the type of exercise I'd use this top slot for if I felt like the bar was fighting me when it's in that flipped over position. Speaking of the sleeves, attaching them and removing them is currently simpler than I would have thought. You just insert this long rod up through the bottom. Actually, it doesn't really matter which hole you use since you can just flip it over and use this hole and then uh, screw on this threaded nut. But they're planning on changing it to have just a threaded nut right here to hold the sleeves on. The reason behind that is it would remove some of the play in those sleeves. And I'm told it'll also make the removal the removal and assembly process quicker, but without seeing it in person, I'm not really sure how well it'll all work. But removable sleeves and an adjustable camber aren't the United Fit Bar's only tricks. The tapered center section makes overhead pressing a little more comfortable. Not that I really mind playing the game of how close I can get to losing my teeth with wider bars. And the taper also makes a convenient place to attach this to cables, which is made even more convenient by the removable sleeves. So you don't have to lug around the entire bar and it's easier to fit into tight spaces. They're also gonna knurl this center section in the final model, which will be a big improvement if you're gonna use this for carries. It would be nice if they could make this a little wider too, it's a little narrow, but um, with the knurl anyway, I wish it was maybe a little more aggressive, but that's also something they're debating changing with that production model. Speaking of changes, as you can tell, it's a bit boxy and I tend to like my models a little curvier, but the bar you'll get will have the edges round a little bit, but that boxy design is intentional so you can use it for push-ups. They're also gonna change the handle spacing a little. Right now, it's actually pretty close to the Kabuki Cadillac bar, but they're gonna pull the handles in some and it'll end up more like Elite's cambered bar. Now, both those bars are well balanced and thought out, but personally, I feel like the Caddy bar is a bit wide, so I think bringing the handles in some makes sense. That change will also allow them to shrink the frame in about three quarters of an inch or so, which probably isn't really needed because it fits pretty well in 47 and 49 inch racks, but I'm guessing it's a move that's supposed to help get the weight closer to 50 pounds as well. Overall though, it's a well-built prototype and you can even see on the box where they've used uh, finger joints to put this together and then they've welded it and then ground it down to keep it smooth. And it's design and build choices like that that as users we don't notice, but that's what makes them well done, right? As an imported bar, it's competitively priced, but most importantly, it's well-balanced, stable, and easy to handle. And if the changes they've been talking to me about improve the bar, and as I've warned you, they've proposed quite a few, so I'm not exactly sure what you'll end up with, but I think it could find its way into a lot of people's gyms. If you enjoyed this video, check out our Cambered Bar Showdown to see just how good I am at spending money. And if you like the video, give us a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.